Hi, I'm Samantha Teeter, Executive Director of the Chattanooga Symphony and Opera. I'd like to give everybody an update on what the CSO has been working on for the last few months, as well as giving you an idea of how we may be looking to move forward with live music. First, I want to give my thanks again to our subscribers, to our donors, to our partners and supporters. I also want to thank our hardworking staff and musicians and board members. It's not been easy as it really hasn't been for, for many people over these last several months. Staff continues to work from home uh, and we're continuing to have conversations with board members and with musicians about looking to the future. So thank you to everybody who's been working so hard behind the scenes here at the CSO. I want to give you an update financially we were able to get a payroll protection loan back in April, and that allowed us really to prevent any layoffs. We actually were also able to pay our musicians up to 80% of their canceled services. We had originally agreed to give them 50, we were able to pay more because of that payroll protection loan. So we're very thankful for that. We continue to receive subscription revenue from our current subscribers and new subscribers. Thank you so much for sending in those subscriptions. Our donors continue to support us. We just saw some great outpouring of love and support from our donors these past few months, and we greatly appreciate um, everything that you're doing there for us. Also, we've applied for several grants. We have our annual grants, such as National Endowment for the Arts. We have a special one for the NEA CARES Act um, that was specific to COVID issues. We obviously get funding from ArtsBuild and Tennessee Arts Commission, and we found some new grant opportunities that are specifically helping out arts organizations during this trying time. So we appreciate all of our funders in, in that aspect. So what's next? Um, while we're still working on that, I can let you know that we are working with the musicians on um, a new agreement for the coming season. We all acknowledge that it will not be normal, that it won't be a regular season like it typically is. So our musicians have been very gracious in working with us on some new planning. We hope to have more information to you about live concerts, about some live streaming concerts, some recorded content. We're working out all those details and hope to have a plan to you by the end of July or the 1st of August. We know many people are excited to get back to some live music, but we need to make sure that we're doing it safely for everyone involved. That includes socially distancing our musicians on stage. It includes socially distancing our audience. It means finding venues that can accommodate maybe a smaller group of audience members, but still being able to spread apart and have space. We know that there are a lot of different opinions as far as people's comfort level at returning to live music from those who are ready and, and anxious to get out and to sit and hear our CSO musicians and those who would be more comfortable at home. So we ask for your continued patience, but we are working on a plan. We're very excited about some opportunities to even get out into more communities that we don't typically reach. So stay tuned, more planning coming soon. We also hope that by doing this, we're really able to um, avoid, avoid more layoffs. Um, we unfortunately have had to make a few, but we are really looking at supporting our current staff, our artistic staff, and our contracted musicians. It's very important for us to be able to still be a large employer here for the, the city of Chattanooga and for our area. So we're doing as much as we can to preserve jobs during this time. It's also exciting that on June 1st, we introduced our new youth orchestra conductor and assistant conductor, Ismail Sandoval. We were hoping to have an event in person for people to be able to meet Ismail. Unfortunately, we probably won't be able to do that anytime soon, but we do plan on having maybe some type of online Q&A with Ismail. We, we really think the community is just going to, to love him, and, and he's already been very hard at work with our youth orchestra program and working with Kayoko Dan, our music director, on a variety of programs this coming season. Also hope at some point that, that Kayoko and I can have maybe a, a YouTube live or a Facebook live event where you can ask us questions. We know a lot of people are just wondering, you know, what we've been doing during this pandemic, how we've been handling everything, and we would love to be able to answer your questions. So look for that soon. Again, probably the end of July. 
ask that you continue to follow us on social media if you're on those platforms, uh, Facebook, Instagram. We have a lot of online content right now on our website, chattanoogasymphony.org. Several of our musicians and our quintets have recorded um, a variety of content from, you know, learning more about a musician and uh, chinchillas that she has adopted, as well as performances by our wind and string quintet. So check out our website, see what we've been up to there. Also, continue to support our annual fund. Looking at this new normal this coming season, it's going to be more important than ever that our supporters, our donors, continue to provide funds through our annual fund, which helps us move these, programmings, these programs along. So we thank you for doing that. We appreciate all your help in that aspect. So there's the update again in about another month. Hopefully we'll have a lot more information to share with you. I hope that you're all staying safe. I hope you're all staying healthy. I hope you're staying six feet apart and wearing a mask. So enjoy the rest of your summer and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.